we are. I want to show you it's in there. I got a double layer wrap of Tyvex material, otherwise known as lumber tarps. I wrapped it in uh, black and then I reversed the second layer and I put the black on the outside and it's inside. So uh, that way it looks black while I'm working on it. I don't have to look at print. And then I took some uh, manufacturer waste, also a building material, which is FRP panels. They had a bunch of scrap, huge pile of them, enough I think to do this entire thing. And I pre-painted them with spray paint. And I'm using them like a shingle effect on the outside using their recommended way of putting it together and it looks not only cool it looks awesome and it, here we go here's your total outside piece overlapping as I go I was only going to do the initial base layer but I think I'm going to do both layers because I think it's going to look awesome when it's done got the windows in got the roof completely ready to go got that window in uh, up in the air about the fireplace and fireplace may become a uh, wood burner but uh, next step get this glass wall in the front and get the man door in so I can close it up for winter time thanks for watching so what I want to show here is this is my door that's going to go in my front of my cabin. And what I made here was I remade the frame. I pulled this door out of an old house. I put a new door in their house. And instead of throwing the door out, I kept the panels. I have just got two major panels and one operating center panel. And I, in order to transport it, I cut the bottom in half. So I had to remake a plate. And I'm going to show you how wide these panels are, if I can get this hook right. So these panels are four foot wide panels. Usually on a door, these are these are three foot wide panels. So that makes it, I'm going to get three giant lights. It's a 12 foot door with a sliding center unit. And I'm putting it together ahead of time in my shop location to make sure it's completely assembled. And uh, this part right here is just a... It's just a temporary wall to help support since it's, you know, this is quite a bit of glass. He's probably way close to 80 pounds a piece. So there's quite a bit of glass here, double insulated glass. So then I just found a uh, error here on the top and uh, I remade the frame and now I actually have to cut this back a whole nother unit. So this piece right here, this operating piece will actually slide back and forth. So I'm glad that's the whole reason I'm putting this together is to make sure that I remake the corners and remake the top edge and and have it ready to go when I cut the frame down originally I left the original pieces in with the door so the original pieces are these pieces so I kept these pieces so I would know how to cut my framework and where to put the screws so now this piece was right there you can see how I remade the frame the frames are ready to go and they were ugly purple before now they're a nice stained kind of a barn looks to it and uh, there we go so we're gonna put we're gonna make the changes and uh, then it should be in the next video I will, I will make with this little additional part I'll show how it's installed and I'll show the finished product. Thanks for watching.